Good afternoon, Poké Sports, and welcome to another VC Battle Stadium Series One video, bringing you a Sun Florida team. How did I? How did I end up here? How did I get myself in this situation? Have we really done that many Pokemon that Sunflora is the next on the list? Sunflora ain't that bad. Now, <laughs> let me preface this by saying that I have actually played some practice matches with this on Showdown. And it's very surprising. Now, let me just start off by saying this is from Gawata um, on Twitter. I'll make sure to link their Twitter down below in the description. They're the one that created the team. But I did find this team because of Jamie Boyt on YouTube. So definitely make sure to check out Jamie as well and his iteration with this team. So the idea here is to play some Flora in Trick Room. So Flora is one of the few Pokemon in this generation that does have access to solar power because Charizard isn't in the meta. So unironically, a Specs and Flora does some damage, <laughs> especially when in the sun. And now in this generation, we also have Klefki that can learn Trick Room on its own. It never was able to do that before, except in this generation. Guys, so many different Pokemon in this generation got Trick Room. We have things like Spiritomb, things like Klefki. And the list just goes on and on. Um, so just getting able to to be able to use clef key and get the sunny day up in order to proc the uh, The solar power on the sun floor is gonna be a lot of fun Just in case that doesn't work out. We have other modes to set trick room here There's actually a very hard trick room team with just the high dragon just kind of stamped on it We have the indeed we have the armorers that can just set trick room on their own We also have the final gambit annihilate just to make setting trick room a little bit easier We get rid of the Pokemon that can one-shot our trick room setter and then just get the trick room up on our own, have the Annihilate swap out, go into the Sunflora, do our thing from there. So this seems like a fun time. And now if you guys are in for a fun time, I'm here for a fun time. Go ahead, hit the like button down below and subscribe to Pokesports if you haven't done so already. If you're excited to see Sunflora here on the channel, let's go on to today's battles. Super hard Tailwind now. Also, hi Gastrodon. It's not every day you get to see Gastrodon. Okay. I low-key can tolerate this team with Sunflora and Armor Rouge. Question is, do we go for just the Armor Rouge lead? I think so. Just go in DD Armor Rouge right away, bring the Sunflora in the back. Could have the Klefki in the far back. Just to set the sun up. Or we can outspeed anything, everything in Final Gambit. The only issue I don't wanna bring the Final Gambit for is that they have so many ghost types. Mm, here's the thing, if they lead mouse hold, my Indeeder's not gonna appreciate that too much. Hold on, let's change this up. Let's change this up. We are gonna go Klefki and Annihilate. Bring the floor in the back. And then also bring the armor in the back. All of the damage that I have on this team is gonna be Annihilate, Sunflora, and Armor Rouge. So Hopefully that'll that'll take us to victory. We'll see. Hopefully we can make use of the trick room. Hopefully we can final gambit without having them hard swap into a ghost type. We got a lot of options here. Golden Gold Mouse Hold is gonna be their lead of choice. Fine. Now we can't final gambit the golden go. But we can take the shot into the mouse hold, and I do think I can live one attack from the Golden Go, right? So if I just click Trick Room here, and then Final Gambit, we should theoretically be okay. Let's do that. Let's get rid of the mouse hold. Not trying to play around with those mice today. Now, Golden Go is still going to be a little bit of a problem if it's Steel Terra's. But Steel Terra's, we might have an issue, but that's what Armor Rouge is for, right? Perfect. All right, I'll take that. No Ghost Terra from the Mouse Hold, nothing. Just gonna trade Mouse Hold for Annihilate. I'll take that trade any day. This is now a single targeted us, uh, uh, make it rain, though. That's the other issue that we have. But let's have Faith in Klefki's Special Defense. Ooh. Okay. I see you. All right, well, here's Trick Room now. We got the Trick Room up. It kind of depends on who they go in with next. I'm going to hold on the on the Sun Floor. I'm going to bring the Armor Rouge. Just because I want to be able to deal with, deal with this guy. 
as much as I can. They bring in the Gastro. I have Grass Terror. I might just go Grass Terror. And then set Sunny Day here. Grass Terror, Armor Cannon. That's all we do. Try to eliminate the Golden Go from the game. Plus two is not something I want to be playing with. Now, of course, I could always go with uh, Wide Guard. But then I just get uh, slept by the Gastro. It's not worth it. Gastro is actually going to Terra here. Interesting. It's a fairy. I don't think that means anything. That only means something for my Sunflora, unironically, but I'm fine. I think I'm still in a pretty decent spot here. Fairy Terra Gastro. Listen, if you told me this morning I was going to be playing against a Fairy Terra Gastro, I wouldn't believe you. But here we are. Only on Poke Sports, baby. All right, let's Grass Terra here. Golden Girl protects, fine, whatever. Not a, not a super big deal. We get the sunny day up. Still pressures them a lot. They go for the earth power. We're grass type now, though. Still in a pretty decent position. I might just hard swap my Sunflora. But it, not, it might not be worth it in the end, actually. The Reflect also doesn't make a big difference right now. I might just let myself go down. Go for the player off onto the Gastro just to do some damage to Gastro. I don't think they can really avoid an armor cannon in the sun. There's nothing that wants to take it. Even their dragon types are not going to appreciate that. It's okay. We'll force out the stats, right? Yeah, the drag pull's coming out. That's fine. Again, we're going to force out the stats. Ice beam. Uh-oh. We hang on. We're here. We're still here. They give us weakness policy. Hold on. We might actually one-shot the the Dragapult. Conveniently. Player, player out's going to do absolutely nothing. Ugh. Not going to lie. This, uh... This Gastro's kind of a nuisance. This Gastro's kind of not fun. Do I undo Trick Room? No, because then I die to make it rain. How do I beat this Gastro? In comes the Golden Go again. Yeah, I don't know how to beat the gast Gastro. Yeah, this is a little awkward, not gonna lie. Ah, I, I have to let myself go down. I'm just gonna die to the Ice Beam though, yeah. I don't have another play here. Yo, Gastro with Ice Beam. Fairy type Gastro with Ice Beam is wrecking me right now. It's okay. I still have a couple turns left to the Trick Room. Sunflora? How slow is Sunflora? Can Sunflora make a thing happen here? Nasty plot. They love this nasty plot. Sunflora. Are you slower than Gastrodon? I somehow highly doubt it. Sunflora would have to be really bad to... Oh, it is. Oh, it is. Hold on. We're in this. We are slower than Gastro. I don't think Gastro knocks us out with one ice beam. I'm just going to keep play rough in Gastro. I think I can. I could take out the golden go. I'm going to try. I'm slower than Gastro. I didn't think some floor was slower than Gastro. <laughs> Oh, it's time, Sunflora. It's time. We can't see you on the screen right now, but I know you're there. Earth power. And the Golden Go deleted. <laughs> that is beautiful. Wonderful. And you recover. Okay, we're fine. We are so fine. Oh, that 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 was a lot of recovery, though. I don't think they were expecting the, the Sunflora to do that much damage. Twisted Dimensions return to normal. That's actually a little bit bad. I'm going to TR, and I'm I'm forced to keep Earth Powering, so I guess I'm going to keep Earth Powering. They're going to Ice Beam. Oh, we hang on! Yes! Oh, I could have just play roughed. It's fine. It's we're, I think we're okay. I think I live the Solar Power, which is all that I need to do. Okay, even better. Honestly, the Sunlight is done, is done doing the thing that it was doing. 
Now we play rough. Now we earth power. GG. We're going to take the game with Flora. Oh, that is amazing. I'm going to be honest. This Gastrodon stressed me out a little bit. I didn't think we were going to be able to maneuver our way back in there. But I think by preserving the Sunflora, we kept the momentum going. Oh, that's really good. GG, Sammy. Tyranitar, Arcanine, and Golden Go. Here's the issue. The issue is that Amoongus. But the thing is, if I get the Trick Room going, it should be okay. And also, my Annihilate can one-shot Amoongus, theoretically, if I just, you know, hit it with a final Gambit. So I think, uh, I think I'm think i going to do just that. Bring the Armors is my final Mon. I like that. I like these four. I think the Sunflora can really, really get some things going. Sunflora is like Loki pretty decent into this team too. I can do a lot of damage to Golden Go. I already know I can one shot Golden Go with Earth Power. I can do a lot of damage to Arcanine. I think if I can one shot Golden Go, I can one shot Arcanine. I'm not too sure about the Tyranitar, but you know, we can always try. We'll get the Tyranitar out of sand and then be able to one shot it probably. But I'm expecting a Mungus lead for my opponent, just seeing how I'm kind of hard trick room. I mean, maybe it's not so obvious that I'm hard trick room, but it could be. All right, Arcanine Miascarada. Okay, I guess it's not that obvious. I think I just go for Arcanine every day of the week, right? Thanks for the uh, Defiant. I appreciate you. Here's the thing. Do I just not take advantage of that Defiant now? Or do I still just int off my myself? I think I'm still just going to int off myself and click Trick Room. The thing is, like, the Miascarada can trick room my Trick Room. Which could be not a great time. I think I just take advantage of... I mean, while I have it, right? I don't have to just... They might... Let's see if they Trick Room for me. You know? I'm just going to reflect and close combat the Arcanine. Perfect. That works for me. Okay, if they have Protect, I don't think they Trick Room. That's for sure. Now they just have to take a plus one close combat to the face. Totally down for that. Just free damage. If they knock me, they knock me. I don't think they knock me through Reflect, though. All right, Arcanine, what you got? Probably just a Flare Blitz. Willow. Okay, well, now you can go ahead and KO me. I don't care. <laughs> I'm almost considering preserving. But I know that another close combat into the Arcanine should... Mm... Actually, now that it's burnt, I don't think it will KO. Yes, it will. I have faith. And then we just go for the Trick Room. Oh, perfect. They just hard swap their Miascarada. They really think that I'm going to go for the Miascarada spot. I don't care, though. Oh, Moongus. That's going to be fine, though. Okay, good. I don't even knock out the Arcanine. That's going to be fine because I have my... My What's-Her-Face in the back. All right, Flamethrower, eat that. Nice. And we Trick Room. All right, Annihilate. I'm actually going to preserve the Annihilate at this point. I can use this as a final Gambit bot for the late game. And I think I'm in a pretty decent position to just go in with Armor Rouge here. And set up the Sunny Day. Just bring the Armor Rouge to the field. If they knock out my Clef Key, that's best case scenario. It means I get my... My fun one in, my Sunflora. All right, sunny day's up. We're gonna play in the sun for a couple turns. Oh my goodness, they are really trying to keep this thing alive, huh? All right, Arcanine, whatever. Flamethrower, into my cleft gate. Fine, fine, that's okay. Because now, now is when I get to play. Now is when we get to play. All right, we bring out the Sunflora, baby. Do we Earth Power lock ourselves, or what? I Terrastalize here, go for the Armor Cannon onto the Amoongus. That's a no-brainer. And I think I just Earth Power lock myself. Yeah. Get rid of the Arcanine that way. 
Got two grass types on the field, no rage powder to care about today. And there's no Amoongus on the planet that survives one of these in the sun, I don't think. This should just be a double KO for me. Maybe the Arcanine's gonna whip out an E speed. Just try to get as much damage in as possible. Nah, not at all. Oh my goodness, Sunflora underspeeds Amoongus in Trick Room. Or that might have been a speed tie, who knows. But the Amoongus shouldn't do too much. Yeah, double spore. I mean, double grass type, so no spores. Big damage from both of these mons, dude. Fear me, Amoongus. Fear me. Okay, I'm going to have lower defense now, which is unfortunate. And I don't have Psychic Terrain on this team. So that's a little bit unfortunate. So one of my two Pokemon are going to get Sucker Punched by the Meow Skirata. Which of the two? I don't know. All right, Meow Skirata's coming out. And who's your friend? Grimmy. I think I might double the Meow Skirata, but at the same time, they could just double protect and that doesn't take me anywhere. So I'm just going to double the Grimmsnarl because Grimmsnarl is more likely of not not having anything here. We'll see how this plays out. Fingers crossed. They're going to Terrastalize here. Who's it going to be? It's going to be the Meow Skirata. Probably just Grass Terra. Fire Terra! That's different. Okay, uh, I'm listening. Do you have Terra Blast? Okay, there's Fake Out. Wait, so, so what you're telling me is I could have gone for Earth Power on Meowskarada. Oh well. Who are they attacking? Who's the, who's the, okay. Just knock off. I take one. I take one. Here's the thing though. I wasn't born yesterday. I know Meowskarada's carry Sucker Punch, so I'm just going to go hard into Annihilate. And Earth Power Meowskarada now. They're going to want to Sucker Punch my armors to, to eliminate it from the game. The Reflect wearing off could be a problem for me too. We'll see though. Have faith in the Sunflora here. Have faith. Sunflora, you got this. This is kind of a risky play. But if all goes according to plan, whatever. Light screen doesn't matter. No Sucker Punch. No, that's the... Oh, we live! Dude, Sunflora just lived a Life Orb Sucker Punch from a Meowskarada. I don't even know what to say. I am baffled that that was possible. Twisted Dimension to turn to normal, okay. Wow. We lived a sucker punch. All we gotta do now is final gambit. That's GG. Now, that is why I saved the Annihilate for the end game. What, am, what, what did I just see? What did I literally just see? The Sunflora eating a sucker punch from a Meowskarada. Wow. Oh, well, GG, Sunflora. Uh, uh, G <laughs> this thing is so dumb. I love it. Wow. Yeah, I'd say so. Okay, let's go. Let's go with our four. Let's go with the four that make the memes be dreams. Because I low-key think that Sunflora can make some things happen here. My biggest concern on their team is actually Armor Rouge. If I see Armor Rouge... I final gambit it. That's it. Because that's the only way I can break through it on my side of the field. Because I just decided not to bring Hydreigon. Houndstone Palmot are going to be their leader choice. Interesting. Not a big deal. I can't one shot the Houndstone. They're probably going to try faking me out here. I wonder if I care though. Like, I could just go for a Shadow Claw onto Houndstone. Just to do as much damage as I can onto Houndstone. Because, like, I, I'm theoretically not a bad option. But I think Final Gambit onto Palmot is still probably my better option. Followed by Trick Room. Now, I wish I was Ghost Terror here, because this would have been... Oh, that's a, that's fine. 
That's fine. Who's the final Gambit gonna go into though? All right, bye, Titar. There's no Titar on the planet that has more HP than Annihilate. I was this close to close combating that spot too. Oh, oh, they messed up. Yeah, they they were not expecting Final Gambit. They were definitely expecting Drain Punch. I get it. I get it, man. But hey, I don't care about the burn. Give me that HP, Titar. <laughs> Now, unironically, being in the trick room is great because he's now sand rushed and the Palmot is fast. Now, Palmot can revival blessing the T-Tar back, and I don't think I want to deal with a T-Tar in trick room, to be honest. So I think I'm just going to go in with Sunflora and put the fear of God on my opponent. I might just double into this... Uh, Into Palmot here. What if I Fairy Terra Dazzling? Yeah, I might I might want to Fairy Terra Dazzling this game and also just go for the player off on the Palmot. Just because the Houndstone could get annoying with, you know, its allies dying. Not to mention that if you revival blessing and then bring something back, that counts for the last respects as well. So I have to be cautious. Alright, that's okay. I've seen worse things in the world. Player off should go next. I'm gonna break the sash, which is all that I, all that I need to do. And then snarls. I'm okay with that. They essentially just got rid of my scarf, is what that did. But as long as they don't revival blessing me, I'm okay with that. The palmot might actually go down to sand, which is even better for me. It's close, but no. All right, we, we go for the gleam, and we go for the sunny day. We'll get some damage up. And they actually hard swap the Palmot. Into the Armor Rouge. Okay, Armor Rouge. Armor Rouge kind of doesn't care about me too much. Not going to lie. My Dazzling Gleam is not going to do a lot of damage to Armor Rouge. But it might still do a lot to Hound... Uh, not even that much to Houndstone, to be honest. They just double snarl me. Okay. I might have to hard swap out, but no big deal, because I have armors in the back with weakness policy. And I could just set up Reflect here. Do I have Reflect up already? I don't think so. Just in case they do like some last respect shenanigans here, I still have to worry a lot about my opponent's side of the field, believe it or not. We're not out of the clear yet. We got a really good turn one, but this is still anybody's game. All right, let's set this reflect up. And then let's just hopefully eat up an armor cannon here. All right, they just snarl. That's fine. They give me weakness policy. I have no idea which armor rouge is faster, though. Could be either one. But since mine is meant to be a hard trick room armor rouge, I think it's going to be mine. Armor cannon? Probably onto my cliff. What? Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> How about I just get rid of Houndstone while I have that opportunity? And play rough the armorers. Yeah, I think I just do that. That was a weird turn, but I guess they just wanted to get rid of their scarf. You could have just given it to me, can't you? That would have screwed me up more than giving it to your dog. I don't know, man. I'm not complaining. You're now locked onto that, dude. What's happening? All right, player's gonna do absolutely nothing. They go for the expanding force. They're slower than me. Wow, they are slower. Oh no, that was me. Never mind. They just go for the armor cannon onto my Cliffy. Interesting turn of events here. How many turns of this trick room do I have left? Hopefully a lot. Please be a lot. I think it might honestly just be one though. Yeah, that was the last turn of trick room. All right, let's go in with our Sunflora. They're locked onto Choice Scarf, so I think setting trick room back up is my best option. And then going for the Earth Power is also my best option. 
If I even can. We'll see. We'll try. We'll see who they target here. I'm sure it's going to be Sunflora, though. They sent back in Palmot. It is just going to be another armor can onto Sunflora. But hey, getting the Trick Room up might still be worth it in the end. It's not. I think I lose. Dang, man. I still didn't win this. I think what I had to do there... Yeah, I don't win this. Because what I had to do here... Because now I'm going to get fake outed. It doesn't make a difference what I go for here. Yeah, what I had to do here was just eliminate the armor rouge from the game. But then I would have gotten fake outed next turn and then last respected next turn. We'll see if... It, okay, this is just going to fake out. The fact that that's alive is kind of tilting me, not going to lie. Alright, they're going to terastalize here. Are they dark? They're psychic. Okay. They're not dark. The psychic doesn't do much. But it's going to do a lot. If I get fake outed, which I am. There's the expanding force. I'm going to I'm going to have to make some reads here. My only hope of winning this game still is by predicting the protects. So I'm going to have to go for the expanding onto the mouse. Actually, I might even just take another expanding force. They don't they don't go for protect. That's unfortunate. This means I lose now cuz there's no way of me hitting both of them, unfortunately. If I had the Ndidi, then yes, there would be. So I kind of needed them to protect there. I should live one more, but I'm not living two more. Yeah. Teams are fucked. Where's off? Not that it matters. Can last respects miss? I don't think it can. Last respects. I, I really don't think it can. Hundred percent accuracy, yeah. Uh it doesn't matter what I go for. That's gonna be GG. <sighs> yeah, GG's. <laughs> it was a close game. It was a very close game. It came to I don't even knock out there. Wow. Oh yeah. Never mind. It was a lot less close than I thought. I'm I aren't I plus one that doesn't knock out? Dude, Houndstone is a tanky beast. What the heck? It's fine. I think for a Sunflora game and for a Sunflora video, we did more than enough today. <laughs> GG's tech. Let's go ahead and get you guys that rental. And here you have the rental code for the Sunflora team. I honestly am very surprised that this team can do what it does. Sunflora is honestly not an awful option. <laughs> I was really impressed with this damage output. Do you have to like give it a lot of items and a lot of stat boosts and a lot of abilities in order to make it usable? Sure. But it's still usable, right? I think we still did prove to ourselves that it did its thing and it did it well. It wasn't even like it was a bad pick. I brought it to every match and it did something in pretty much every single match as well. Whether it was living sucker punches from Meow Skrata or even just like being able to one shot Golden Go with Earth Power. It was just beautiful all around. Also, Klefki. Honorary respect to Klefki. It did what it had to do today as well. It set up Sunny Day. It set up Trick Room. It play roughed when it play roughed. And the Reflect helped immensely in many battles. So I got to give respect to Klefki where, where, you know, respect is due. The only thing that I'd probably change about Klefki is like maybe make it a Ghost Terra type. So that I can take like fake out leads a lot better and not be worried about, you know, seeing an incoming fake out from the opposing Pokemon. Get that trick room up um, as much as like, you know, the best way possible, because this team kind of does struggle if it doesn't get the trick room up. So by just getting that Terra into Ghost to get the trick room up, it would have been very useful in multiple situations. But regardless, the team was a blast. It was a fun time. If you guys enjoyed today's video, go ahead and hit the like button down below and subscribe to Pokesports if you haven't done so already. Thank you so much, Jamie Boyd, for bringing this team to my eyes. And thank you so much, Gawota, for making this team in the first place. 
Um, if you guys want to go ahead and check them out, we'll, we'll leave a link to their stuff down below in the description. Anyway, I'm Kevin Spooky Sports. Thanks for watching. Have a great night. Peace out. Bye-bye.